somebody uh, saw the announcement and was angry because some would be half inch by half inch preacher. I don't know who he is. He said, why would you debate a politician and won't debate me? <laughs> you know, I don't debate everybody. And the reason why I don't debate everybody, a lot of these men don't want to be right. They just want to make a name for themselves off the popularity of the platform of the truth of God. And a lot of them is mad because we won't let them use our platform. So I'm, I'm just not interested in everybody. I don't want little tadpoles and, you know, little microcosmic things in water that you can't even see. I want whales so I can harpoon them. Them that's affecting the masses of people. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I want kings and queens and big false prophets so I can scale you. Amen, you little pulpit parasites. You need a magnifying glass to just see your level of falseness. I ain't thinking about you. Amen, hell will convert you quicker than we can. All right. Let's dive into the book of pain. Amen. The book of pain. Amen. Had a very good meeting last night. Amen. You viewers. <laughs> you viewers that are watching. The message on the so-called Trinity after you listen. Yeah. Listen. And follow us in the Bible. When you watch that message. And look at those cartoons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at those cartoons. And reflect how ignorant you were and how ignorant you are. And then get up from your cartoon celebration. When I was a kid, I loved my cartoon, Looney Tunes. Amen. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Porgy Pig, Peppy Le Pew, Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. You, you see why Williams laughing so much? Because Williams was a cartoon addict. Amen. Well, that's what you have today in pulpits. A cartoon is something that's drawn by men and women and through special effects, it moves. Through the special effects of Satan, pulpits are moving all across the world, but it's nothing real. Nothing real. All right, I want to talk about naming this afternoon. Fifth chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes, if I'm correct. There was a man named Naaman who had leprosy. Kings, I kings. believe it is. Kings, I beg your pardon. Second book kings. of Kings, Second Kings. Amen. Second Kings. Chapter uh, 5. Chapter 5. And we're starting at the first verse. My mind was on keeping thine foot. You need that too. Amen. I want everybody to follow me and listen closely. In 2 Kings chapter 5, we're starting at verse 1. I want the atomized by God's permission. Mm -hmm. Whenever we ask God for change, the mistake that many of us make we ask God for change, and then we determine how we want that change to take place. That's right. We ask God for change, and then we have the audacity to tell him when, where, how. Mm -hmm. I don't believe the Lord needs all those instructions. No. No. 
It's like those that seek the Holy Ghost. They ask God where the, they want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Just ask the Lord, fill you. Leave the where up to him. Lord, I want you to fill me with the Holy Ghost at the convention, and the convention is two weeks off. Why would you put us so far off? Just ask the Lord to fill you. He can determine when. He may want to drop it on you now. I've had uh, council meetings with folks who wanted the Holy Ghost, and <laughs> I remember a brother talked to me and said, Pastor Jenny, pray that I receive the Holy Ghost. He said, but I don't want it yet. Wow. I said, well, why you don't want it yet? He said, because of some things I haven't done yet. He said, I do want it, but I just don't want it yet. <laughs> That's something to say, isn't it? When you truly want the Holy Ghost, Since that we become so arrogant, blind, and ignorant that we will lay stipulations to God, anything you want from God, you don't lay stipulations to him. He lays stipulations to you. He decides the when. He decides the where. And he decides the how. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Follow me in your Bible, 2 Kings chapter 5. And we're starting at the first verse. Begin at verse 1. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master. Now, but he wasn't greater than God. No. You have a lot of people that's considered great in the world, privileged. Yeah. And some people that are looked at great, privileged, they feel as though they are entitled to. Yeah. That's right. And certain rules don't apply to them. That's right. This is why God tackles the rich man. That's right. And tell the rich man, don't you glory in the riches. In fact, move on Paul to tell us when he addressed the rich. He they said, that they that will be rich. Fall into temptation and a snare. Listen. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 9. And then another scripture says, charge them that are rich in and this rich. world. That's that right. they be not high-minded and trust in uncertain riches but in the living God. That's right. Listen. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Uh -huh. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. And what does it do? Which it drowns, drowns men in destruction and perdition. So if you look at the celebrity world, the politician world, the so-called preacher's world, right. them that are wealthy, them that are rich, they feel as though scripture does not apply to them. That's right. Especially the strictness of Scripture. That's right. Politicians feel as though they're too big yeah. to bow before God, but let the Pope come. Yeah. They'll drop on their knees for a man. That's right. Politicians won't bow before God, but let them go to England and visit the Queen. That's right. They'll drop down before her. Rich people. Rich. Feel as though they're too rich to pray because they got everything. Why should, I've heard rich folks say on interviews, why should I pray to God for anything when I have everything? That's right. That's what you call rich deception. That's right. They spend their days in wealth. Here. Yeah. In joy. Here. Yeah. Privileged ones. That's right. Job chapter 21. Glory to God, glory to God. Job chapter 21 and at verse 13. Job 21, 13 says, They spend they their days spend in wealth. Their days in wealth, but. And in a moment. In a moment. Go down to the grave. Yeah. Amen. In a moment. In a moment. 
Where do they go? To the grave. That's right. So you find television networks each year going towards the close of that year. They do a a recap. Those celebrities that have passed away that year. That's right. Letting us know no celebrity is bigger than death. That's right. No rich person is bigger than death. No. Because death is ordained by your Lord. That's right. Your Lord that you despise. Mm -hmm. Your Lord that you refuse to credit. And it is appointed. Your Lord that you refuse to pray to. That's right. Your Lord that you refuse to obey. That's right. That's right. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 9 and at verse 27. It is appointed. Unto men. Unto men. Once to die. Once to die. But and after this. After this. The judgment. They spend their days in wealth. And you look at rich people. They, many of them mm -hmm. don't care nothing about God. No, no. They claim they are celebrities, or should I say Christians. Right. But yet you play roles and verbally and physically blaspheme God. That's right. You sell out on God for money. That's right. You sell out on God for fame. That's right. But God never tried to get no one's attention. He gets it, you multi-millionaire that's watching and listening. God is changing the health of your body. That's right. Your heart don't beat the same. You're taking about 15 capsules a day. Mm -hmm. Vision changing. Breathing changing. Running back and forth to the doctors and they can't help you. That's right. God is giving you time. Time, time to understand you are nothing. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right. Your fellow rich preachers won't tell you you're nothing. That's right. They treat you with royalty. Because they want your money. That's right. These so-called celebrity preachers feel honored sitting in the presence of movie stars, yeah. politicians, and movie directors. And so therefore, nothing is preached from them That's right. that gets your attention. Right. Nothing is preached from them that strikes fear in your heart and even calls you to consider to obey God. That's right. That's right. So God always sends someone in due time who will tell you what you really are. What you are. Right. Nothing, Nothing but dust. All flesh grass. is grass. Grass. Glory to God. And when you put heat on grass, wash it. It rithers. Oh, yeah. Rithers. Rithers. That's what you are, human family. The grass withereth. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, we'll start at verse 6. All right, son. The, the voice said, cry. Glory to God. Amen. You better begin at verse 5. That sounds too good to start there. Isaiah chapter 40, we're at verse 5. Uh -huh. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory of the Lord shall be made known. And all flesh shall see it together. All flesh shall see it together. Oh, red dick God, I don't care how poor, how wealthy, how white, how black, how brown, how yellow. Right. You're going to see what God have in saw. That's right. Uh -huh. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. Who said it? The, the, for the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. Well, I know it's guaranteed. Guaranteed. I know it's going to be just like God said. That's right. Uh -huh. the, the voice said cry. The voice. 
said cry. And he said, what shall I cry? What shall I cry? All flesh is grass. God said cry. Lord, what, what shall, shall I, I tell him? All flesh is grass. No, praise him for the riches. All flesh is grass. Compliment him for the movie. All flesh is grass. Give them an Emmy or a global award. All flesh is grass. Celebrate what they accomplished. All flesh is grass. Amen. All flesh. You got an oxygen tank on your hip or next to your bed. All flesh is grass. Yeah. That's right. You're in a wheelchair, rich man, rich, man. rich woman. That's right. Being rolled around. You're getting plastic surgery after plastic surgery because your creator That's right. is piling years upon you. That's right. And you keep going to doctors and cutting across your forehead and yeah. pulling your skin back. Amen. Taking away your lines. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go with that gut, but they can't take away your age. No. Yeah. Amen. All flesh is grass. All flesh. I'm so glad God have it like that. Oh, yes. There were rich men in the Bible. Yes. They're dead. Oh, yes. Job was a rich man. Yes. Abraham was a rich man. Yes. Solomon was a rich man. That's right. But where are they? Where are they? Grass. You millionaires are attracted. To the mega false prophets. That's right. Because they preach what you love. Money. That's right. They don't preach to turn from your wicked ways oh, and turn to God so you cater to what you love. That's right. Money. That's right. That's right. Grass. Grass. Is living in that mansion. Oh, yes. Grass is driving that Rolls Royce. Grass. Have that garage just a fleet of cars. That's right. Grass have all those wives and all those husbands. That's right. Grass That's right. own that diamond. Amen. Grass right. own those pearls. Amen. Glory to God. The voice said cry. The voice, who ya? Said cry. And he said, what shall I cry? What shall I tell him? All flesh is grass. I got to do that. That's right. God wants to show you what you really are. That's right. I saw you are, right. and you're withering. Withering. You're withering. That's why you get your face lift. Amen. Because withereth. the plants start to wither. That, that's right. Ah! The grass withereth. Amen. You got men running, getting their face lift, <laughs> getting Botox shots, lips looking like blowfish. That's right. That's right. Amen. Eyes looking like a leopard. <laughs> Amen. Nose looking like a giraffe. Amen. The world is so confused. They're getting now. Amen. Type of plastic surgery where they're getting horns in their head. Yes. Teeth filed down so it can be sharp like a piranha fish. That's right. Amen. Getting some, getting the pupil of their eyes to look like cats look like snakes and then getting the tip of the tongue cut so it can uh, mock the tongue of a lizard. Yeah. Amen. The whole world lost. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on back to God. That's right. Come on back. That's right. Come back to him. Come back to him. In fact, God says, return unto me. God is making a plea with your human family. Oh, yes. He's telling you, return. Return. That's right. He's giving you time. Glory to God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. He's giving you time, but the devil send men to pacify you while you're out there. And now it's a distraction so you don't hear and know the agenda of God. That's right. 
Glory to God. The voice said cry. The voice said cry. And he said, what, what shall I cry? What shall I cry? All flesh is grass. All flesh is grass. And all the goodliness thereof is as the minute. flower of the field. All what? All the goodliness thereof. The goodliness. Amen. Amen. Look at the goodliness, goodness. the attractiveness of it. Yeah. The beauty of it. That's right. What's going to happen? Is as the flower of the field. You look at their mansions now. That millionaires built. Yeah. And those many of those mansions in America are abandoned. That's true. The millionaires are dead and gone, and the mansions are just sitting there. That's right. The father's dead, the mother's dead, the, all the children is dead, the That's grandchildren right. dead, yeah. and the mansions are sitting there sitting. with uh, vines and mold and amen, squirrels and rats That's and right. insects. That's right. Yeah? That's right. God has proven to you that you don't own nothing. Yeah. He says, nigga, you came in the world. That's right. And nigga, you shall return. You shall return. Glory Amen. to God. Let's go back to 2 Kings now. Back to 2 Kings. I want Kings. everybody to hear. I want everybody to hear and follow me. Back in 2 Kings chapter 5 and at verse 1. Yes. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. Yes. He was also a mighty man in valor. Mighty man in valor. But he was a leper. He had a condition. That's right. And all of his greatness, none of his greatness, resolved his condition. That's right. Now, That's right. all of us got a condition. Yeah. It's called sin. Oh, yeah. Am I right, I said? Oh, yeah. And many of us try to take matters in our own hands to get rid of our sin. But until we do these things the way God ordered it, we sang that song, Order My Steps. Well, if you want your steps ordered, you got to run to God's word. That's right. Because a good man's steps is ordered by the Lord. By the Lord. And when you run the way of God's commandments, he'll give you a heart enlargement. That's right. And you will follow whatever rules, regulations that God outlined for your deliverance. That's right. Listen good. And the Syrians had gone out by companies. Yes. And had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. Yes. And she waited on Naaman's wife. Mm -hmm. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria. Yes. For he would recover him of his leprosy. Yes. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the, the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to go. And I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. Uh -huh. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman my servant to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Yes. And down now, verse 7. Come on, son. And it came to pass when the king of Israel had read the letter that he rent his clothes and said, Am I God? To kill and to make alive? Yes. That this man doeth sin unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Uh -huh. Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. Yes. And it was so. When Elisha, the man of God, when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, what did he do? That he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? You know, Amen. some people mm -hmm. feel as though you should deal with them hands-on because of their status. That's right. They feel too important. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Too important. Mm -hmm. I own this and I own that. Yeah. What's wrong? You can't come to me yourself. That's right. You going to send a letter to me? A letter. Uh, do you know who I am? Your <laughs> grass. That's right. Mr. That's and right. Mrs. Grass. That's right. Come on, son. Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Yes. Let him come now to, to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Yes. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariots. Naaman came with his horses and chariots. And stood at the door of the house of Elijah. And what? And Elijah sent a messenger unto him. Ha! Amen. He come at the prophet's door. And mm -hmm. 
with his horses, with his horses, and with his chariot, and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the he, house he of Elijah. He came all in style. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. I have met celebrities that then came to First Church. NBA players, NFL players, and whatnot. And they introduced themselves to me. And I shook their hand and told them, I'm glad that you're here. I asked them, did you enjoy the service? They said, yes, sir. I said, good, come back again. That's it. And I went on about my business. That's right. I remember a man came here some years ago on Frankfurt Avenue. And uh, he came to talk to me in the office briefly after service. He said, I just want you to know I put $100 in the offering. I said, thank you. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Amen. Because that wasn't nothing. I mean, many of us done that. Yeah. And uh, he said, Pastor Jenner, did you hear what I said? I said, yes. He said, I just want you to know that I put $100 in your offering. I said, brother, I thank you. Amen. And then he kept standing there. I said, is there anything else? He said, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I said, brother, you put $100 in an offering, and I appreciate your offering, and it'll go towards the work of the Lord. Right. He wanted me to praise him and, or laud him and, and all of that stuff, and everything we have belong to God. What you're talking? That's right. Everything. That's right. You can never give God too much. No way. In fact, anything we do is too little. That's right. That's right. All right. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot. Naaman came with his horses and chariot. And stood at the door of the house of Elisha. You see, he stood at the door of who? Of the house of Elisha. Elisha was not made to be impressed. No. When God make you the right way, right way, you're not impressed about what somebody else had. That's right. You see, some people become so impressed by another person's possession, they become covetous. Yeah. That's they right. desire it, or they become jealous of it. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you hear this? Now in the book of St. James, chapter 2, we're at verse 1. Have not the faith. The belief. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord of glory. The Lord of glory. With respect of persons. With respect of persons. For if there come unto you... A, for if there come unto you a symbol. Come on, son. A, get it out. Get if, it out. Get it out. Get it out. Do you need some water? No. Are we back at that again? No, no, you Pastor. You want some water? I'm good. All right, come on. James chapter 2 and verse 2. Let me do this now just in case. <laughs> Amen, because you got a box of napkins up there. And <laughs> see, what else do you need? All right. James chapter 2 and verse 2. Follow me. For if there come unto you a symbol. I want all of you viewers they listen at this amen because most churches are guilty of this that's right listen give chapter and verse again james chapter 2 we're at verse 2 yes for if there come unto you a assembly if they come to you at your assembly a man with a gold ring a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel goodly apparel and there come in also a, a poor man in vile raiment and they come a poor man in vile raiment what, what verse are you on i'm now at verse three go up to uh verse start at verse one real quickly back in james two and at verse one come on my brethren have not the faith of our lord jesus christ the lord of glory with respect of persons you see all that's important right that's important. Don't have respect to person. That's it. He that have respect to person commits sin. Commits sin. Uh -huh. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring. Yes. In goodly apparel. Uh, he all decked down. Decked down. Mm -hmm. And there come in also a poor man a poor in vile man raiment. With vile raiment. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. Wait a minute. Amen. <laughs> what kind of clothing? Gay clothing. Wait a minute. That's right. Amen. See, gay there don't Man. mean what gay is now. No. No. That's right. But the Bible is showing you the difference in look with apparel. Right. There's gay clothing, gay clothing. and there's modesty. That's right. Gay clothing, flashy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gay clothing. Gay clothing. Yeah. Amen. 
Amen. We don't want to see brothers with gay clothing. No way. Amen. 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 Well, brothers, they be modest. Yeah, modest of power. Not gay clothing. That's right. If you got a watch, it's just a watch. Yeah. Right. You don't need nothing that an uh, uh, airline pilot can see 35,000 feet up in the air. All that bling, bling light. You don't need that. Don't need that. Amen. That's right. You want to be walking around looking like Liberace. Yeah. That's right. He truly had gay clothing, gay clothing where he lived. Oh, yes. All right. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. Yes. And say unto him. And say to him. Sit thou here in a good place. Sit in a good place. And say to the poor. And you say to the poor. Stand thou there. You stand there. Or sit here. Sit un here. Under my footstool. Wait a minute. Don't even let him sit on the footstool where you want to place him. Under my footstool. Under. Amen. That's exactly the way many churches do. That's right. Poor folk Poor. or folk that appear like they have money mm -hmm. versus those that appear mm -hmm. like they don't have none. That's it. Brothers that are standing in the back, come up to the quick row, please. I got a brother that uh, may need to be ushered. Escort him out and give him some water or something. Come on, move quick, please. And you... All right, come on. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. Yes. And say unto him, sit thou here in a good place. All the rest of you pay attention. Mm -hmm. Sit thou here. In a good place. In a good place. And say to the poor. Say to the poor. Stand thou there. Stand thou there. Or sit here under my footstool. What is it? Are ye not then partial in yourselves? Partial. Are you what? Are ye not then partial in yourselves? Partial. Partial. When you're partial, you have favoritism. That's right. When you're partial, you have respect the person. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. This is, this is so beautifully outlined. Yes, it is. Churches today are extremely guilty oh, of yeah. having favoritism. That's right. Now, favoritism... Is, and then what he is itemizing, mm -hmm. based upon the way a person look, you right. judge them. That's right. Don't know what's in them. That's true. You say he's a good brother yeah. or a good sister yeah. based upon his look. Yeah. Come on. She's holy because her dress, you can't see her feet. <laughs> That's right. Oh, he's a real man. Because he wear pants? Amen. That's true. Listen. That's right. Come on, son. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. Yes. And say unto him, sit thou here in a good place. Sit down here in a good place. And say to the poor, stand thou there. What happened? Or sit here under my footstool. Yes. Are you not then partial in yourselves? When you are partial in yourselves, in yourselves. see one thing I love about God, mm -hmm. he have no respect of person regardless of your color or your creed. Wonderful. God Almighty will be a real God unto you. That's right. Only do so. Amen. All right, what is it? Are you not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Yes. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Hearken, my beloved brother. Has not God chosen the poor of this world? Wait. Amen. Do you hear this? Yes. Hath not God chosen the poor of this world? Well, that contradicts what the preacher's been saying. Yeah. That God want everybody to be rich. That's right. God ain't never said he want everybody to be rich. No, no. God have chosen the, the poor, poor of this world of this world rich in faith rich in faith in belief that's right hallelujah hallelujah now that's the way prosperity is supposed to be preached that's right huh? that's right that's the way prosperity is supposed to be preached that's right do you hear it hearken my beloved brother hearken hearken my beloved brothers. Hath not God chosen the poor of this world? Have not God chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith. Rich in faith. And heirs of the kingdom. 
which he has promised to them that love him. True prosperity is not money. That's right. It's not houses. That's right. It's not land. No. It's the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. But she have despised the poor. That's right. I'm a rich man. That's right. Not materialistic wise. Some journalist wrote an article up on me. I don't know who they are. and They don't know me. I never met them. So many articles on the internet that I don't know. People write all kinds of things. They never met me in their life. Amen. And said, Pastor Jennings, net worth, he's worth 1.5 million. <laughs> Why didn't nobody tell me? <laughs> I got my wife here, Sister Jennings. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> My daughters, what, uh, Persia, why didn't you tell me? Amen. Sierra, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> My mother is here, why didn't you tell me I was worth 1.5 million? Amen. William, you're standing right next to me reading. What's the matter with you? That's why right. didn't you tell me? That's right. That's right. Amen. Pastor Jennings, well, what are you worth? What are you, what are you I'm worth? priceless. Yeah. Wonderful. You can't put no cheap number on God's people. That's right. We are priceless. That's right. That's right. We Amen. are a royal priesthood. But you are a chosen Hallelujah. generation. A peculiar people. A holy nation. Holy. Who oh, take God a holy nation. Holy nation. Hallelujah. Put some small figure like that on me, That's I'm right. worth 1.5. No, Amen. I'm not. I Amen. got this information that God put in us for the world is worth more than all the money in the world. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? Hath not God chosen the poor of this world? Give chapter and verse again. In James chapter 2, we're at verse 5. Have not God chose the poor of this world? Rich in Rich faith. Rich in faith. And heirs of the kingdom heirs which he has promised. Heirs of the kingdom of what? Which he hath promised. Which he hath promised. To them that love him. Heirs of what? Heirs of the kingdom. Heirs. Read all of it. Heirs of what? Heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. <laughs> Amen. He said, I go away from here to prepare a place for you. Place for you. Thank God that where I am. Yeah. Ye may be also. That's right. Think of it. Think of that. We have a personal architect. Amen. Huh? That's right. Draft out an entire city. That's right. Hallelujah. Until no electricity is needed. Yeah. For it said the glory of God lighteth up the city. Lighteth the city. He said the city lie full square. Yeah. The breadth, the length, the height thereof equal. are equal. equal. One part, 12,000 furlongs. Another part, 144 cubits. That's right. In that city, no death. No pain. No remembrance of your former life. That's right. No remembrance. That's right. Glory to God, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. All right, what did he say? But ye have despised the poor. Oh, that's what so many have done. That's right. Despise the poor. Jesus said, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. Yeah. I was in prison, you didn't visit me. Yes. Naked, you didn't clothe me. Yeah. When have we saw you in these conditions, Lord? What you do to my least ones. Yeah. You do unto me. That's right. Viewers, when are you going to wake up to the prosperity plan? Amen. The prosperity plan, the only one that benefits from it is the one that set the plan. That's right. And that's the false prophet that you have in front of you. Amen. Real quick. But you have despised the poor. 
You have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you? Yes, they do. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The Bible is plain here. Do not rich men oppress you? Do not rich men oppress you? Yes, I they do. That's right. Rich men make the laws. Yeah. Rich men always want to raise the taxes never on themselves. That's true. The so-called middle class and them that's barely making it. The burden of the taxes is placed upon us. That's right. Rich men oppress they you. They oppress you. Oppress you. Amen. Hire a bunch of people, they don't want to pay them nothing. That's right. That's true. Oppress you. Oppress you. Oppress you. Like Donald Trump. Amen. Amen. Don't want our Mexican brothers and sisters come across the border. Yeah. But yet here have them working for him and don't want to pay them nothing. That's right. That's right. Amen. Many rich folk, already wealthy, yeah. got people working for them, gardeners, plumbers, but don't want to pay them nothing. nothing. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Do not Do rich men, not rich men oppress, you oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat. And they draw, you, they draw you before the judgment seat. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The rich blaspheme God moreover. Moreover. Amen. Moreover! They have no need for God in their mind. That's right. They're too busy having a ballroom and all in their gowns and whatnot, playing and drinking champagne and right. brag about how they bought a uh, Rolls Royce for their 14-year-old daughter's birthday. That's true. 14-year-old, a Rolls Royce. That's right. Yeah, that's something. A Rolls Royce for a 14-year-old. What Amen. for? What for? What, what, what? How foolish. How foolish. My daughter, 14 years old, why would I buy her a Rolls Royce? Amen. And I can't own one. That's right. Even if I could afford one, I wouldn't buy my 14-year-old kid no. a Rolls Royce. No, no. Hey man, I'll put you in one of those electric cars from Toys R Us. <laughs> yeah. Hey man. Hey man. Hey, well, my kids was growing up, that's when I had them. <laughs> I had my daughter, Brittany, I think it was a Corvette, one of them, electric car. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when it was just her and Sierra. Mm -hmm. Sierra would get in the passenger seat and Brittany just be Jamie just driving. Mmm, just gone. <laughs> Driving, talking, and let you couldn't tell them nothing. They were driving. <laughs> Amen. Today, celebrities and wealthy folk, yeah. you buy your children everything, but nobody is considering God. That's right. God. That's what I'm holding in front of everybody. That's right. God is coming. That's right. Prepare to meet thine God. That's right. He's coming. Oh, yes. And you're not ready. Yes. Glory to God, you're not trying to get ready. That's Let's right. go back to Kings quickly. My back, time is getting away. Back in 2 Kings chapter 5 and at verse 9. Uh -huh. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot. Naaman came. With his horses. With his horses and, and with chariot. his chariot. And stood at the door of the house of Elijah. Mm -hmm. and, he, and Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, go and wash in Jordan seven times. Wait a minute. Amen. Sent a messenger. You know, Naaman fell as though Elijah should have came to him. That's right. Hmm. Elijah just sent a messenger to him, and you go wash seven times. And thy flesh shall come again to thee. Now, Naaman had something else in mind. He didn't have in mind to go get nobody's water. That's right. He had an expectation, uh, fell as though that Elijah should come and um. Do whatever he gonna do, lay hands on him and the leprosy will go away. That's right. yeah, but God has something else in mind. That's right. And if you look at the wisdom of God, God had this in mind because he knew it took humility to obey it. That's right. There was some time we want God to do something. Yeah. And we want God to do it our way. That's right. Not considering the way a thing 
may be done. It may be done the way God wanted it done. That's right. Let us consider this. Anything we ask God for, if you receive it, it's only because you don't deserve it. And it be by God's permission. That's it. Listen. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him. Yes. Saying, go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan. And thy flesh shall come again to thee. Go wash in Jordan. I'm not even going there. Go, go wash in Jordan. Jordan. Tell old Naaman, go wash in Jordan. I don't care what he had. That's right. He pulled up to my house in a chariot and all horses. that. <laughs> I mean, that's like somebody going to pull up to my house in a limousine. Yeah. If I had an outdoor pool, which I don't. Mm -hmm. But if I did, well, I'm going to come to Pastor Jennings' house and I want to be baptized. And he said he'll use his pool. Right. So he pulled up long limousine. And, <laughs> and here's the pool ain't clean. And That's right. Leaves all on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, bird droppings need to be pushed aside. I, I didn't clean the pool, you know. Right. And then all of a sudden you pull up all this money and whatnot. Yeah. And here I send my son down there to tell you, you, you go on to the back. <laughs> Pastor Jennings got a brother there to baptize you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Pastor Jennings got a brother there to baptize you. Amen. Water, filthy and dirty. See, and this is where people are. They mindset. They're so caught up in being privileged they feel as though that they have certain rights to obtain certain uh, materialistic things right. and treatment. That's right. Listen, I wouldn't care if you come in first church, not only with a mink coat, but with the actual animal that got the mink. I don't care if you actually got the animal. I'm just, just the animal just all over you. Got the real mink, and it's still alive. still alive. And you're feeding it while you're wearing it. I don't care. That's right. You're born of a woman like anybody else. That's right. And you will die just like anybody else. That's right. Come on, son. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, uh -huh. saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again to thee. Your flesh shall get right. And thou shalt be clean. Yes. But Naaman was wroth. He was mad. He was upset. That's right. Why? And went away and said, Behold, I thought. I, <laughs> Amen. I thought. He will surely come out to me. I thought he going to come out to me. And stand. And stand. And call on the name and, of the Lord his God. And pray for me. And strike his hand over the place. Strike his hands over the leprosy. And recover the leper. Amen. Naaman was wroth. Amen. People have done that to me. Amen. Call me. Pastor Jennings, I'm in die. I got an emergency. I need you to pray for me. Mm -hmm. I said, all right. I started praying on the phone. They interrupt. Wait, 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 Pastor Jennings. Aren't you going to catch a plane to come here? I said, no. <laughs> but I Lord. called you. I said, I got your call. That's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> Amen. Prayer can reach you quicker than a plane. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Prayer, I said. Oh, yeah. Can reach you quicker than the plane. I got to go do baggage claim and all this other stuff. And you may be dead before I get there. That's right. <laughs> huh? You may be dead before I get there. I got to go do baggage claim. Luggage might get lost and everything. And you know, you shouldn't wait on that. No. no one should have that mindset. That's right. Let God do what he wants to do when he wants to do it and where. That's right. All right. But Naaman was wroth and went away mm -hmm. and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me. Like some folk want to get baptized. I don't want to, I don't want to get baptized unless Pastor Jen is going to do it. You should not have that mind. No. Don't have that mind as busy as I am. That's right. As busy as I am. Amen. I'm traveling all over the place. You may die before I get to you. That's true. If I got a brother right there, let him baptize him. That's right. If I appoint him, let him baptize him. That's right. Well, I don't want to wait for Pastor Jennings. Why do you want to do that? Why? Amen. I may be 20 years before I get to you. That's true. Oh, I may not never get to you. That's right. When you really want God, you will get and pursue God when the opportunity is offered to you. Yeah. 
All right. But Naaman was wroth and went away. <coughs> yes. And said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand. I thought he would come out to me and stand. And call on the name of the Lord his God. And calling on the Lord his God. And strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Mm -hmm. It's Are like you? some people come up for prayer. Yeah. And because they're used to what false churches do, I remember I prayed for, when I pray for people, I pray for you. That's right. Some folks come from false churches, they're used to, ah! That's what they used to. They come up, passage, eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, <laughs> look down upon this wicked soul <laughs> that used to be a Trinitarian. <laughs> huh? I'm just praying, I'm just gonna talk to God. That's all. The screaming and the hollering and the shaking your head. Giving you a headache that you did not have right. is not going to heal you. Not, that won't heal you. It's That's not right. going to heal you. That's right. That's right. Amen. I can pray all I want. If God don't heal you, it still ain't nothing going to be done. That's right. So our expectations, we look for the wrong thing. Yeah. And the way we should look at God is only not through logic. Yeah. And not from our perspective, right. but only through scripture. That's right. When you look at God from scripture, then you can ex expect the function of God to be done according to scripture. That's right. Listen. But Naaman was wroth and went away. Yes. And said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand. Yes. And call on the name of the Lord his God. Uh -huh. And strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Mm -hmm. Are not a banner and for par? Rivers of Damascus. Now, Naaman recommended some clean, clean. water. That's right. Jordan was dirty, <laughs> dirty, filthy water, and it had a reputation for that. Yeah. <laughs> when we was in a Dominican Republic, <laughs> and uh, Minister Abraham and some other, where's Abraham at? Oh, he's upstairs. And uh, him and other brothers went with us over there because I needed him as a translator. Yes. And uh, it came time for baptism. Abe said, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go baptize. I said, all right, you go ahead, Abe. He said, you look, you preaching, get some rest. I said, all right. <laughs> Abe came back, he said, brother, <laughs> everything was floating on that water until it looked like it was living. Good. <laughs> He said, but I baptized him. Amen. Hmm? That's it. That's right. Water may not always be clean. Right. You may have to push trash push aside to baptize him. That's true. Amen. Did you hear this? Are not a banner and for par. Rivers of Damascus. That's what many people have done. Yeah. People write me, Pastor Jennings, I want to get baptized. But uh, I want to get baptized like Jesus. Do you know people have recommended to me that they have sent me airline tickets wow. to fly me to Jordan? Wow. People have actually recommended to me. They said, we will fly you to Jordan. We want, you, we want to get baptized like Jesus. There are some that's hung up and say, I want to get baptized in running water. Running water. Running water. Yeah. You know, they want to hear the water running. And I tell them, well, we got running water. <laughs> we're going to run it in, and when we baptize it, we're going to run it out. That's right. We're going to baptize it. Amen. You're so foolish yeah. and so deceived of the devil. You're hung up on the foolishest thing. That's right. All you need is water. Water. One scripture says, here's water. See, here's water. Well, here's to me to be baptized. That's here's right. water. Here's water. That's right. That's all you need is water. Water. That's it. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. Are not a banner and for par rivers of Damascus? Yes. Better than all the waters of Israel? Mm -hmm. May I not wash in them Na and be clean? Naaman thought he was too good. That's right. And that's where many are now. Too that's good right. for the Lord. That's right. Don't let nothing you wear be too good. 
that you can't worship God. Amen. You worry about whether it get wrinkled or whether it get sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You got folk, they got a cute Holy Ghost. Yeah. yeah. When I came up, the Holy Ghost makes you look terrible. <laughs> Change your face. Yeah. Make your body move in a manner that ain't designed to move. That's right. Cute Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> cute Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, like, get away from me. Hey, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You even got some brothers the same way? Like that. That's right. Gay Holy Ghost. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil, I said. That's right. That's right. Bible address the Holy Ghost and call it fire. 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 And when fire get a hold of that wood, it burn it from all angles. That's right. How you call it, take off? Hallelujah. Holy Ghost make you move. Oh yeah. When? Whenever it want. That's right. Where? Wherever it want. Wherever it want. Holy Ghost don't care you on the job. You can be on the computer. God said, I'm going to deal with you right now. There's nothing you can do about it. That's right. Sometimes you can feel when the presence of God is just coming. That's it right. ain't even hit you yet. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. You can feel it when it's coming. Oh, yeah. They haven't even got a hold of you yet. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of God. Amen. 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 Sometime when I'm walking, I can feel the presence of God when it's coming. Sometimes I just start laughing. <laughs> I don't care who's around me either. That's right. Never be ashamed of your Lord. Amen. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. You don't see that sinner of shame when they hear that music standing on the corner dancing all by themselves. That's true. Twisting and turning and moving, no shame. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Word of God says what? Are not a banner and for par rivers of Damascus? They recommend or name and recommend it water to his satisfaction better than all the waters of better israel. than all the waters of who of israel of israel may i not wash in them can and i be go clean? wash in them and be clean so he turned and went away in a rage he got upset full of pride yeah arrogant that's right you're gonna lay another law to god after god told you how to get clean that's right hear you out there the lord told you how to get clean of your sins amen they said, repent and be baptized, every one of, you, one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Right. And you said, does not bowing the head <laughs> and right. raising my hands, don't that get rid of my sins? Don't, if I join the church, join don't the church. that get rid of my sins? Yeah. If I pray a sinner's prayer, don't that do it? If I'm baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, don't that do it? No! No! God was adamant. That's right. That repentance and remission of sins That's it. should be preached in his name. Mm -hmm. Not in his titles. No. In his name. That's it. Glory to God among all nations. All nations. Thank God for getting at Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. Uh -huh. May I not wash in them and be clean? Yes. So he turned and went away in a rage. Upset. Right. Mm -hmm. And his servants came near and spake unto him. And said, my father. Look at the servant try to talk some sense into name. That's right. Talk some sense into him. And said, my father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing. Holy. Yes. Notice yes. the servants recognize his character. That's right. Now, the prophet would have told you do something great, you know, that I'm continue to make the name that you so foolish about. Wouldst thou not have done when it? When you have done. That's where people are. That's where people are. If you do something that'll make your reputation more known. That's right. That will make the elite look up to you more. That's give you right. the advertisement that you want. Right. 
Mm -hmm. How much rather then? How much rather then? When he said to thee, wash and be clean. You that are listening and watching. That's right. If you're really willing, willing to be clean, be clean. and really want to be clean, really want to be. you going to take what God recommends. That's right. You want your sins washed away? You are gonna do it God's way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't care after you done been sprinkled and bow your head and raise your hands and pray some sinners prayer and join some church and been slapped by Shambach and been jerked around by TD snakes and been right. smiled at at Creflo O Penny. When it's right. all over, you gonna come back, come back and do it the way the Bible say do it or burn in hell. That's right. All right. Then went. Then he went down. Then went he down. Went he down. And dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Wait a minute. Amen. After the servants talked some sense into him. That's right. Because remember, mm -hmm. he still had the leprosy. That's right. He the one wanted to get rid of it. That's right. And for him to get rid of it, he had to do it on God's order. That's right. You the one that are watching, that's a right. sinner. Amen. Whenever you hear, that's a sinner. Yeah. And you fight the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, keep fighting. But you're still a sinner. That's it. Your sins won't move. Yeah. Huh? That's right. You can bow your head and raise your hands and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me Wash white me. as snow. I'm a sinner. Mm -hmm. Your sins ain't moving. No. Hold the preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, no. Your sins ain't moving. That's right. Go to the Catholic Church and let the preacher take you in the bowl and say, In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. After you get a sprinkle a day, your That's sins right. still won't go away. That's right. That's right. Just like Naaman, leprosy wouldn't budge until he obeyed God. Yeah. Your sins are not moving until you come do it the way God said it. That's right. And what did God say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every, Every one, one of, of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the remission of sins that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Holy Finish Ghost. up naming. Back in uh, 2 Kings 5 and at verse 14. All right. Then went he down. Then went down. And dipped himself seven times he, in Jordan. He got dipped seven times in Jordan. According. According. According to the saying of the man of God. <laughs> Amen. Bible said God confirmed the words of his servant. That's right. You have to do it the way God said it should be done. That's right. Uh -huh. And his flesh came again. Wait a minute. His flesh came, a, came, came again. Came again. Like unto the flesh of like a little unto child. Like the flesh of a child. And he was clean. There was a you that are here. Yeah. If you want to be cleansed of your sins. That's it. Ignore what your preacher told you. That's right. Ignore these man-made religions right. where you get this artificial salvation. That's right. Come all the way back to Bible. The Bible. Come back to it. That's right. And do it the way the Bible says it must be done. That's until right. Until you do it on those terms, terms, you will die a sinner. Yeah. And perish yeah. in eternity. Glory to God and end up in a Christless grave and stand before God in judgment and he's going to usher you out in hell. That's right. That's what he's going to do. That's right. That's what he'll do. I don't care how mad Naaman got. No. His, his madness didn't make God bargain with him. No, no. And his madness and anger and being upset did not make Elijah say, well, all right. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, no. He had to come on and get washed in the dirty in water of Jordan. That's right. Viewer, you're dirty. Yes. Many of you here, dirty. Yes. You're not saved. You've never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You bow your head and raise your hands and join some old Baptist church yes. and been singing on the Methodist choir mm -hmm. and claim you're a Christian. You're a dirty singer. That's right. You ain't never been saved since you fell from your mother's womb Amen. until you 
done it like the word of God like says the it. Says the it. Bible says that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. at Jerusalem. The apostles was in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. Right. Thank God and the apostle Peter declared by God permission in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to repent, Mr. and Mrs. Sinner. God yeah. wants you to be sorry about your sins and that conviction will settle in your heart gotcha. and you'll be ready to surrender your will and give up and obey God. That's right. Uh -huh. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. For the remission of sins. And what did he say? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody here want to obey God on God terms and get the right baptism? Right baptism. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want it, stand on your feet this afternoon. Stand on your feet. Wonderful. Glory to God. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go right to the back where you see the brother and sister standing. Hallelujah. Some of you sisters that's on the baptismal committee or you that are not, come help the mother here that's standing here. One of you sisters, give the mother a hand quickly, please. Amen. You young sisters, you come on and give the mother a hand. Amen. You rest yourself, Stuart. You young sisters, give the mother a hand. Glory oh, to God. Hallelujah. Numbers, you, 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 listen, you got to cross out 4562. <laughs> We're still counting. Glory still counting. to God. Glory to God. That's right. All right, come on back. Prayer this evening at 6 o'clock. Prayer will be at 6 o'clock. Come in, talk to God, hit your knees, and cry out to him for whatever we want, whatever you want. Please don't crowd up the back. We're going to ask you not to crowd up the back because souls is coming in and out to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on back, everybody, at 6 o'clock this evening. Get on your knees and seek the Lord. Let us all stand. As Bishop Ellis Close us out in prayer. Just a minute. Yes, uh, all of you that is on the baptismal committee from every location, I need to see you in room 27 about 15 minutes after the benediction. That give you a chance to move around. Room 27 from every location. All right, Bishop Ellis. Dear Heavenly Father, in the all-powerful name of Jesus Christ, Lord God of heaven and earth, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for the wonderful service. We want to thank you for the soul that's going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for all your blessings and benefits that you have bestowed upon us. And we give you all the glory and all the praises in Jesus Christ's great and holy name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>